Hey y'all, what's up? It's Friday, so I'm gonna keep it black, <laughs> but I'm gonna keep it brief. Uh, leave Megan and Cardi B alone. Musical and visual masterpiece WAP was released earlier this week, and it has received a lot of condemnation from white men, of course, black men, duh. I ain't seen no white women, and some black women too. One CeeLo Green decided to comment on the matter as if he were a pillar of righteousness within the community. Did he rape somebody? Using words such as filthy, desperate, and even shameless. So you're mad because they're not ashamed of their bodies and sexuality. Shaming black women for their sexuality is one of the most fundamental forms of anti-blackness since it's a reiteration and extension of the over-sexualization black women have experienced since the concept of race was invented. Black women's bodies and their parts have not only been compared to animals, have not only been showcased in circus acts in 19th century Europe, but have also had their own bodies used against them as pawns to perpetrate racism. Being forced to mate with their slave masters or even complete strangers for the purpose of reproductive labor and replenishing the enslaved population. Being used as pawns to aid to the further emasculation of black men through areas such as rape, separation, and kidnap in such a way that black women's pain cannot even belong to them but is co-opted into the oppression of black men. Please talk to them, cause I'm tired. Well, you know, being so explicit with it and so vulgar with it is just putting yourself out there. That rhetoric is just another branch of respectability politics that I'm sure has the safety and protection of black women in mind. But all it does is administer an underhanded dose of massage noir that stigmatizes black women for doing something that black male artists do all too freely. Slop on my knob, like horn on a cop, lit 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 lit, lit lollipop. Cause I stay so hard, you can set me for a long time, oh my god. Nah, bruh, she for the streets. All that, all that vulgar, trashy talk, that's not ladylike, that's not wifey type. Ladylike? That's something else white people made up when they were trying to signify the difference between black women and white women. But when Lady Gaga, Megan Train, or Miley Cyrus, even Madonna, when they do it, it's cute. It's body positive, it's sex positive. But when Megan, Cardi, Nikki, and Lizzo do it, it's shameless? No, actually, women of any color embracing and reclaiming their sexuality and their body is a political device to take a stand against social constructions that inhibit us from living and thinking like free-minded human beings.